It's day 13 of Vlogmas. 23 days until Amsterdam. If you can dream it, you can do it. Walt Disney. I don't know if he dreamed of taking over the technological world as we know it, but between he and Google, they're going to dream big, do big. I'll see you later. Welcome to Shades of Jay, Jam Edition. This month we are making mango raspberry jam. So to begin, we will need six cups chopped mangoes, three cups crushed raspberries, four tablespoons lemon juice, nine tablespoons pectin, and eleven cups sugar. So I have most of this already. I've got my sugar, eleven cups sugar, nine tablespoons pectin. 4 tablespoons lemon juice with only 2.5 cups of raspberries. So I will crush my other half a cup raspberries and then I will get to my mangoes. So to start we will of course wash the raspberries and as you can hear and see I have all of my jars getting ready in the background. Take my raspberries and add them to my large gin pot so that I can measure out my other half a cup. Add them to the pot and then we can do our mangoes. I have two types of mangoes, red mangoes and honey yellow mangoes and I will cut up my red mangoes first and see how many cups I have and decide if I will use my honey mangoes. Maybe actually I will choose the softest of all the mangoes. That one's not so soft. This is a good one. I will wash them and then peel them and then I will cut them. After you wash your mango, you need to peel your mango. I will just use the mango bag for the mango trash. <laughs> So you cut the mango first off the seed and then we will chop it. They are nice and ripe, it's easy to just peel the peel right off. two cups so we need two more cups so I will switch to my golden mango much softer than the red mango So we have three cups of raspberries in our jam pot. I will add our six cups of mangoes. We will add the pectin and the lemon juice and we'll bring it to a boil. We have a big spoon, so I will get my big spoon and then I will start stirring my food and add my pectin and my lemon juice. Let's just have a peek in this pot. Jam. It's boiling already. We do not have our lemon juice or our pectin in yet. So I'll add my four tablespoons lemon juice. I will add my nine tablespoons pectin. And stir constantly while adding so it gets all mixed in nice and good. 
And now it must come to a boil and then we will add our sugar. Ah, it's bubbling. To a rolling boil for one minute. I will sterilize all my tools by dipping them in the boiling water while I wait for my gym. This is my 8 ounce measuring spoon. This is my funnel. And I have dipped them in boiling water so they are sterile. So there will be no cooties in our gym. And all our friends in gym club will be very happy. So where's dairy mango jam? Mmm, smells delicious. Mm hmm I think this will be good. And I am getting 14 pint jars already, or the equivalent. There's our boil. But it is not boiling hard yet. We must get to a hard boil. Ah, this looks hard. I will start my timer. And you can see there are some foam. I like to just stir in my foam, I don't skim it off. That is the end of our minute. So we will turn off the temperature and we will get to jarring. We will remove from heat and get to doing our jars. Our jars are ready. They are boiling. So it will be just moments, just moments, and we will be ready for our jet. Remove from heat, and now it is time to get to jarring. back in the pot. You want to make sure that you dump some water out so that it doesn't go overflowing and then we will put our jars in to boil for 10 minutes. Hmm. Perfect. We must have the jars covered on the top. And this is perfect. We will boil these for 10 minutes while we jar up the rest of our gym. These jams are almost ready, and the other jams are finishing up. These jams will finish boiling, and then they will be ready to go cook. 
Peace of Dean, Shades of J, J Magician. Thanks for watching.